the synthesis of fuming nitric acid. Attention! Sulfuric acid and fuming nitric acid can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. Fuming nitric acid can also cause damage of the respiratory tract and is an oxidizing agent. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. The following experiment shows why usual lab gloves like this nitrile glove should not be worn while working with fuming nitric acid. Either thick butyl rubber gloves are worn or none at all, because in the worst case those would burn into the skin. For the synthesis the setup is a simple distillation with an oil bath. To the vacuum adapter a gas washing flask filled with 10% sodium hydroxide solution is connected. All joints are greased with triboflone but sulfuric acid could also be used to seal the joints. Other greases would react with the nitric acid. At first 35 grams of potassium nitrate are added to the flask. To this 22 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid are added which is an excess of around 13%. After the addition of the acid, fumes of nitric acid begin to form immediately. In the beginning the temperature of the hot plate was turned to its maximum to heat the oil bath as fast as possible. The oil bath was heated up to 120 degrees C and kept at this temperature. In the beginning some nitrogen dioxide gas is formed which then reacts with the sodium hydroxide solution in the gas washing flask. After a while the mixture became liquid enough so that the steering bar could move. This caused the mixture to boil vigorously. The formed nitrogen dioxide was then pushed away or dissolved by the nitric acid. When it reached the thermometer the temperature rose up to around 80 degrees C, unfortunately these numbers were covered. The nitric acid has a yellow color due to the dissolved nitrogen dioxide. The following reaction takes place. The sulfuric acid is a stronger acid than the nitric acid, which is why it can easily protonate the nitrate ion. Nitric acid and potassium bisulfate are formed. When the distillation slowed down and the decomposition of the nitric acid increased, the apparatus was isolated. After heating up the flask had to be lifted so that it wasn't submerged too much. When the oil bath was kept between 130 and 150 degrees C the decomposition stopped and the distillate became colorless. Above 150 degrees C the decomposition slowly increased. When the temperature on the thermometer began to decrease the distillation was finished. At the end the receiving flask was changed for an empty one to prevent larger amounts of acid vapors from escaping the apparatus. While cooling down the decomposition increased and more nitrogen dioxide was formed. 11.9 milliliters of fuming nitric acid were collected which is a yield of 54%. Fuming nitric acid has a concentration of above 90%. It has its name due to the property that it fumes on contact with air. 
On exposure to daylight, the nitric acid slowly decomposes and nitrogen dioxide is formed. So a drop was added to a large test tube and it was then closed with a stopper. After about three hours, a visible amount of nitrogen dioxide had formed. Copper is known for its reaction with concentrated nitric acid. Nevertheless, when reacting it with fuming nitric acid, a protective layer of copper oxide is formed, which inhibits further reaction. When the acid is diluted, the reaction works and copper nitrate and nitrous oxides are formed. This was the synthesis of fuming nitric acid. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.